Great morning, holy brothers and sisters, for the third of Kislev in the Kitzel Kutim Haran. Today's lesson is called Significant Sevens. When a person's heart is enthusiastic, he merits purity of heart. Then this person can fulfill the verse, Create in me, God, a pure heart, and renew an upright spirit within me. Tehillim 51.12 For the words that a person speaks privately with his Creator, each person, according to who he is, are akin to the Holy Spirit of prophecy. And when a person adopts this practice of his bodhidas and forces himself and prepares himself to speak before God, God then sends words into his mouth, which are a form of the Holy Spirit of prophecy. In fact, it was precisely on this foundation that King David established the book of Tehillim, Psalms. A person must see to it, though, that he constantly renews himself and beseeches God on every occasion with new supplications and pleas. Then he will merit a pure heart. Holy hearts of fire, create communication with our Creator to pull forth pure prophecy. In order for a person's intellect to reach the point that it can receive this godly influx of knowledge, which is the Holy Spirit of prophecy, he must sanctify his mouth, his nose, his eyes, and his ears. Specifically, he must guard himself from speaking lies, and he must possess godly fear and awe, which corresponds to the nose. He must also have faith in the sages by believing in them and by following what they say, which sanctifies the ears. And he must restrain his eyes from looking at evil. In this way, he will attain the intellect, as well as the state of complete knowledge of which all else depends. The mouth, nose, eyes, and ears are the seven apertures in the head, and they function in close conjunction with the mind. When these seven apertures are sanctified, they arouse the mind to a forward state which is called the face. These seven apertures correspond to the seven candles of the menorah, while the mind is the body of the menorah itself. The radiant face of the menorah is the godly influx of knowledge. The radiant face of the menorah is the godly influx of knowledge. This godly influx of knowledge also corresponds to the seka, as in shi sa sa with the Holy Spirit of Prophecy, Rashi and Baratius 11.29. This sukkah, this Holy Spirit, is in turn made up of the seven clouds of glory that accompanied the Jews in the desert. See Shulchan Orech or 625, which identifies the sukkah as a remembrance of the clouds of glory. Therefore, by fulfilling the mitzvah of sukkah, a person merits this godly influx of knowledge, the Holy Spirit of prophecy, which is the same as the spirit of wisdom that is termed holy. Zohar 3.61 what this means is that by sanctifying the seven apertures in the head in the way we just explained, a person merits to comprehend and to bring into the mind the exalted levels of the intellect that surround the mind from without. Furthermore, he comprehends them without any preliminary intellectual preparation. Rather, he receives them as a sudden, godly influx. All of a person's spiritual work in this world is for this, in order to comprehend these surrounding levels of knowledge, which are the principal delight of the world to come. Through the mitzvah of sukkah, a person gains a pure heart, and this in turn enables him to express himself fluently before God as he should, which is a form of the Holy Spirit of prophecy. When we put effort to guard our seven gates of glory, Hashem protects us sevenfold through His seven clouds of glory. Our seven candles of our menorahs will brilliantly shine forth to illuminate our lives and the world around us. As always, thank you so much for learning together. If you enjoyed this lesson, please remember to like, comment, share, and borrow. And please, God, we'll learn again tomorrow.